The 2003 SVT Cobra is one of the fastest Ford Mustangs ever to be built. Whether on the street or the track, this 4.6 litre supercharged monster is guaranteed to make big power. Recently here in the Power TV garage, we had an all white Cobra making 600 horsepower at the wheels. Now we were drag racing this and achieving low 10 second times. However, we had a small bout of engine detonation which basically caused blown pistons, smoke valves, basically you name it, we hurt it. So in this episode of Power TV, we're gonna show you just how ourselves, along with the help from Ford Performance Solutions, JE Pistons, Comp Cams and Furia Valves, managed to rebuild this bad boy to the tune of 800 horsepower. Fingers crossed, we're gonna see a nine second range. So let's head back over to FPS and have a chat with Troy Bowen and look how we managed to put this thing back together. Hi, I'm Troy Bowen at FPS. We're here today uh, rebuilding a mod motor, a four valve motor for Danny Campania. It's a blown Whipple. And what we've done here so far is we've put head studs in the block, machined the block, bored out 20 over, uh, dropped the Cobra crank back in it, micro polished that, and set up the bearing clearances. And then we're gonna start assembling it, putting the pistons in it. So hopefully it'll be around 800 horsepower at the rear wheels. The stock four valve Cobra heads were completely reworked, with FPS welding up and rematching the blown out chambers, then giving the intake and exhaust ports a complete CNC treatment. New valve seats were installed and given a radius valve job to accommodate the 0.5mm oversized for rear valves. Assembly of the heads continued with new comp cams valve springs, topped by lightweight titanium retainers to give the engine better high RPM performance without valve flow. After checking the valve seal, the stock cam followers went back in place, topped by a new set of four cams from Comp. Comp offers several different off-the-shelf grinds for blown four valve modulars, suitable for anything from the stock supercharger all the way to a big whipple like ours. With everything torqued to spec and the cam gears reinstalled, the heads were ready to join the block again. I'm about to start on the assembly. All the block preparation has been done, the honing, checking of all the bearing clearances, the crank's been balanced. Uh, all the rods are hung, we're ready to go. The stock Cobra crank got a micro polish treatment on the journals, and stock Cobra H beam rods manufactured by Manly joined the forged JE pistons and Ackley and Child's high tensile ductile rings. Ring gap was intentionally set wide so that the compression rings live under high boost, and the bottom end was carefully assembled using a Pacific Performance main stud kit. Now that we've buttoned up the short block, we're about to mount the heads using the Comatic head gasket. It's a different torque process, plus uh, with the ARP studs, we no longer use a stretch method, but we go to a torque method. It's done in sequence and uh, in increments of 20 thousandths. This is the last major step here after putting the heads on. You have to put all the timing components on. Uh, you've got to line up all the gears and you got to mark the timing, the, the chain links, because if you're off one tooth, it's going to bend the valve. On just about any engine build, an aftermarket oil pan is pretty much a must. It holds a couple more quarts of oil and that's what it's going to take to keep the oil cool. I finished up on the front part of the motor with the dampener. 
So I'm just going to oil up the cam and then seal up the valve covers on this 4.6 and we're all through. FPS installed a set of black wrinkle finish valve covers to match the new supercharger and the long block assembly was complete. It takes a lot of gas to make 1,000 horsepower and their Emotive provided a complete fuel system including rails, fittings and braided lines to keep the new 72 pound per hour fuel injectors fed. Everything is designed to bolt up in place of the factory fuel system, right down to the connection for the stock fuel pressure sensor, making installation easy. The extra capacity provided by the Aeromotive plumbing is good insurance against running lean when we turn up the wick. Topping the rebuilt engine is a new twin screw supercharger from Whipple Industries. Whipple's standard Cobra upgrade blower displaces 2.3 litres per revolution and will produce up to 23 pounds of boost but we went straight to the bigger 3.3 litre supercharger for more boost at lower pulley speeds and stepped up to a single blade AccuFab throttle body to replace the dual inlet stock piece. Well, I cannot wait to get this monster back into the Cobra to see what happens. We've done that many mods to it and we couldn't have done it without FPS and of course Troy Bowen. So a big thanks to those guys. With all the mods, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to get this car into the nine second range. Coming up in the second video, we'll show you exactly how we got the engine back into the Cobra. We'll even show you some dyno testing and some stuff on the track. So make sure you tune in to stangtv.com for all the action.